is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and child childcare, we also
open my case. to trust me.
know when your birthday is. You can see. <laughs> Welcome to Musical Memory. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. A sequence of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. The test will become more difficult as it continues, with longer patterns in quicker succession. That's all. Good luck!
solution to be this smart. <laughs> Mommy is super proud of you, but I'm sure she's already told you that herself. Our next game is Wacko Wuggy. Head downstairs and have fun. Welcome to Wacka Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck.
starts realizing that everybody wanted in the cafeteria. So I'm running through the lobby. And that's what I see. Welcome to Statues. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move again once the lights turn back off. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. That's all. Good luck.
Miss Harper, please explain the situation. Spare no detail. Well, luck any not, all the children were getting asleep. It was peaceful and quiet. Catnap had the red smoke in the room. Then suddenly, there was this scream. Not near that, but I know. But this, I mean, Dolly did two holes and quiver and lit. The way her eyes darted around the room, and I swear, her hand in mine, it felt like her blood was boiling beneath her skin. She saw something, too. Something horrible. She... Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. Miss Harper, we'll provide the very best care we can offer. You have my word. But this is important. Did Marie happen to describe what she saw? Yes. A monster, she said, said that it was colorless. Gosh. I could feel a poor little heart pounding. For her, it was right there. And her movements, they were so wild. Arms flailing, legs kicking. Hmm. I, I wanted to talk to her. See how she's doing. I, I just... I really need to hear her voice right now. That would not be advised, Miss Harper. There are many concerns we must address at this time. But vital, show normal, and we'll continue to monitor. She'll be okay. Uh, well, pardon me if I'm not comforted by that. <laughs> Just bring my little girl back to me. <laughs> Hello, Miss Harper. I'm Bubba Bubbleprint. An elephant always remembers. Want to know what I remember about you? <laughs> I'm Bubba Bubbleton. Hey, I remember you. Want to go outside and hang out? It's looking pretty bad outside. I've never been outside before. Will you come with me? I'm scared. Here, follow me. I'll stay. It's looking fine. Will you? Here, follow me. today? What one thing do you think it needs more of? I asked around once. Money. I never have enough. Understanding. I can never get any. Faith. The common man has lost it. Each answer was different. And I could perhaps see some little truth. But I think each was also missing something. Something simple. You see, not one of them could muster a smile. 
A smile is hope. A smile is love. A smile is understanding. And there is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. To be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. For it is only through hopes and dreams that we may create a better world. One where our children need not be afraid. One where they are protected. After all, this company and its toys are nothing without them. These children deserve to smile. They deserve to love. And they deserve a safe home. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co., I announce... Playtime! Our very own on-site orphanage. But it's not only that. It's a school, a playhouse, a place to belong. Our very own ecosystem beneath the surface. Dedicated in every inch and detail to ensuring a child's smile. It's teachers and counselors, mothers and fathers, until such a time they have all of that in you. May play care bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to all who enter these doors. For what gives life its meaning if not a smile?
Tragic news this morning, as of 9.45 a.m., local authorities report that the body of a young boy has been found on the estate of the late Elliot Ludwig, an esteemed toy maker and the legendary company. official confirmation. Found in an upstairs bedroom in a large duffel bag, officers on scene report that the remains appear to have been disturbed. Recent events, Playtime Co. was asked for any comment regarding the discovery. This is what they had to say. Quote, it's sickening. Elliot Ludwig was a great man, and those who knew him understood that he was not capable of violence. Despite Playtime's proclamation of Ludwig's innocence, Greetings, employees, and welcome to your first day here in Playtime. We're certain that in the days to come, you'll find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own. Feel free to wander the halls, sit in the mess for lunch, or watch our children play and learn to their little heart's content. Join the innovationists where the bounds of science are continuously pushed, or join the counselors of Playcare whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future. Just you see. Now, every one of you has your part in that future, so should you come back tomorrow feeling unhappy for where you are, or what you've done, worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And, should you come back years later, your conscience finally getting the better of you, may you descend into the dark and the dust. Finding all that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors, each hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. Perhaps they'd smile at you from a shadow, their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic, watching and waiting patiently for their turn at a warm welcome. Or perhaps they won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you'd left. A world that's theirs now. Welcome home.
Subject is stable. Designated 1322. Clear neural abnormalities were detected in his recent checkup. Though highly irregular, we've pulled him from the home sweet home just before lights out to perform. What are you doing with my friend? I. What are you doing out of bed? How did you get in here? Is Kevin sick? Why did you take him away? I. I yes. Kevin is very sick. Very, very sick. But we want to make him better. But he can only get better if we take him to where we can provide proper care and give him proper rest. Well, do you really think he will be okay? I should think so. You see that what we do is we paid attention to school, learn, and got our proper rest when we needed it. Just like you need it now, I should think. Come now, let's get you on back to bed. Oh, okay. It's been a pleasure meeting you, Joseph. And I promise you, your friend will be all right. When you see him again, he'll have never been better.
actually here to help. <sighs> this place makes her tense. I'm glad that Ollie could help you get this far. He's the reason we found you at all. Looks like the train crash hurt us both. <sighs> You've been through so much. You deserve an explanation. Come on. Hey, you'll be okay. We'll be okay. you leave. What's happening down here is bigger than all of us. And I need you. So we can get revenge on those monsters who've tortured you. Who've tortured us. They didn't act alone. They're disciples of the original. Prototype. Do the honors. Prototype knows we're coming by now. If you try to escape, he'll kill you before you ever reach that front door. He's the reason I was trapped in that god-awful case for so long. You have no idea of the things he's done. Let me help you kill him. Let me help you save everyone. We've all seen you. How capable you are. You killed Huggy. You killed Mommy. You freed me. You are perfect for this. Is coming. He's the final obstacle the prototype has placed against us. We can't stay here. Keep yourself safe. Ollie will call you. Please excuse the interruption. Students, remain in your seats until the bell has rung. And no going in the halls without a hall pass. I 
recognize you? Yes, I remember. You used to work here. How are you? Alive. Huh? Barb? Oh. Barb says you're looking for your co-workers. Catnap wouldn't like that you're here. You should leave. For your own safety. Not a good listener, are you? You're a lot like the other humans in that way. I wonder if your screams will sound like theirs too. <laughs> I look forward to finding out. Hello, students. Find my sisters and I to learn facts across a variety of subjects. Press my button to hear some facts on anatomy. Did you know that there are 60,000 miles of blood vessels in the human body? For comparison, the Earth around the equator is almost 25,000 miles. The smallest bone in your body is the states in your ear. Still, damage it, and you risk losing your hearing. Want to learn more about human organs? Pay close attention in class. Hello, students. Find my sisters and I to learn facts across a variety of subjects.
Yeah. retirement coming up. Uh, they've been pushing hard for me to choose my replacement. I'm thinking about giving the role to you. Really? Really. Nothing official yet. But I think there's a decent guy beneath all that crap. An honest, hardworking man. You prove me right. I say your chances are pretty good. Wow, I, uh, geez, I don't know what to say. I, I'm just glad to see not everyone in this place has it out for me. Not everybody, Rich. Not everybody.
How can this angel come to save us? Are they left to save? Not here. Not catnaps on the angel. Mary, a million pairs of eyes are on you now. Watching, waiting, hungry. I want nothing more than to crawl beneath your skin and eat away at you bit by little bit. Fill what views empty inside themselves. That thing, Catlap, the prototype is his god, and this is what he does to heretics. These little toys all of Catlap to a farm that they hate, and in return, they are fed. <clears throat> we try to fight it. The prototype's control. I am the last of the smiling creatures. Listen to me. You need to get out of this place. You need to live. You and Poppy could fix this. End this madness. The torment. Oh no. Oh no. no. Leave me. Please. Just go. Run. be here. You can't stay. Something <laughs> says fetch!
Come on in. Please, have a seat. How was your ride down? It was, uh, nothing like we were expecting. Uh, Mr. Ludwig's speech was, well, it just confirms for us that you're the orphanage we want to go through. It's a truly magical place. I felt right at home from the second I entered. You opened that door the first time and you just know you're never going to leave. Kind of like finding a home as a child and always thinking of it when you want to feel comforted. <clears throat> I understand you want to give Jeremy that home. Yeah, and we would like to adopt. Ah, amazing. You'll be perfect for... Oh. What? Well, it appears there's been some complications. Complications? Oh, what kind of complications? I... I don't know. Um, the form says testing. Oh, what does that mean? 
Tell us. What does that mean? Miss Graber, we deserve a better explanation than that. Uh, don't you think? You're in charge of all this. How could you not know? And why are we only finding out about this now? I... I don't. I'm sorry.
what's happened here?
You've done it again. The impossible. Just like I knew you would. Catnap's gone. The red smoke is diverted. Everything is falling into place, thanks to you. But if we're to keep going with this, then you deserve to have the truth. I came back because of your co-workers. You want to know what happened. And why. This. This is your answer. We called it the Hour of Joy. Everyone. The guilty, the innocent, didn't matter. All of that death didn't fix anything. And then, 
Once it was all over, they dragged those corpses down below where they'd never be found. And they ate the bodies to stay alive. Helotype has to die for this. For everything. Soon as we reach the bottom, we'll send the lift back up. Just hold tight, okay? After you! <sighs> Alright. Once we hit the ground, we need to be cautious. There's something... 